I built this $100,000 sniper that drops anything in one hit and this $2,000 sniper that can't even have a scope attachment, all in an effort to discover the biggest differences between every single bolt action rifle or sniper in Ghosts of Deboer. Hello everyone, I'm Too Cryptic, and this is $1,000 versus $100,000 Sniper in Ghost of Tabor, where I will be setting a challenge for myself to get a player takedown with every single sniper in the game, and I've even thrown in an extra bonus weapon, so make sure you stick around until the end to find out what the mystery weapon is. We will be starting with the cheapest weapon and working our way up to the most expensive. All we have to do is get a single player kill to move up to the next rifle, and our kit will slowly improve during the video. So, can I get a kill with every sniper or bolt action rifle in Ghost of Deboer? Let's find out. The cheapest option is, of course, the Mosin, which is actually $2,000, but $1,000 just looks so much cleaner for the title and thumbnail, so I am genuinely sorry for the clickbait, but the Mosin is actually two grand, okay? <laughs> the Mosin is a Russian-made rifle that started production in 1891, and since its inception has become one of the most mass-produced military bolt-action rifles in history, with over 37 million units made. Despite its age, this weapon has been used in various conflicts around the world up to the present day. The Mosin was the standard issue rifle for Soviet troops, and in 1932, the Mosin was modified and adapted to be a sniper rifle and was used across many battles fighting the Germans in World War II. The Mosin played a key role in the Soviets' victory at the Battle of Stalingrad and made many heroes who used the sniper variant to fend off the invading forces. The Mosin is chambered in 7.62x5.4, which is a cartridge originally developed specifically for this rifle. All right, everyone, here we are on the island of Deboer. I literally only have a Mosin a sling with a few meds and an extra pouch of ammo and our goal is to get one player kill there's a guy hello hello what's up what's your name hey hey what's your name buddy yo what's your name buddy watch out there's a bot there's a bot there's a bot there's a bot you kill the bot. Okay. You back away from me, or else I will. I was just coming to say hi. Don't don't do that. Hold on, I'm just killing the bot. Hold on, I'm killing the bot. I'm killing the bot. Okay. Let's be friends. No, no, no. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up. All right. I tried to be nice to him, but. <laughs> Was that too mean? Oh, there's the bot there still. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I killed you, Timmy. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. All right. Well. Oh, God, no! <laughs> All right, GG, well played, that guy. Uh, Rip Nutty. And 111666 GG well played. <laughs> we got our first kill, let's go. So I thought this rifle was great when I lined up an easy headshot, but I thought the gun was terrible when I was getting bum rushed and couldn't chamber around fast enough. On to the next one. The M1903 Springfield is a rifle first developed by Springfield Armory for the United States military and first saw use in the Philippine-American War. It became the standard issue rifle for the United States Infantry in 1903 and would go on to be used in various conflicts including World War I and even World War II. In World War I, it was generally prized for its reliability and accuracy. The Springfield was replaced by the M1 Grand as the standard issue service rifle in 1936. The Springfield is chambered in the massive 30 6 caliber. All right, everyone, here we are with our Springfield kit. I brought just a sling with meds and a pouch again with 30 out six. Oh, there's a guy. Lots giving away our position. Hello. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's your name? Yo, are you, are you, you're not too cryptic. I am too cryptic, yeah. I'm too cryptic. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Did you are you trying to steal my gun to kill me? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are, what are you doing, bro? No, that pouch, the ammo pouch. You're trying to steal my why are you trying to steal my ammo? I need that. I'm doing a challenge video, bro. I gotta get a kill with all the bolt actions. I don't believe you. You don't believe me? Do it.
Well, here, believe this when you see it in the video. Oh, oh damn it. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. All right, I won't be mean. That was mean. You're right, that was mean. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, we got our kill. It was worth it. <laughs> I guess that was a little mean. Oh, God. Let's get inside. <laughs> We're just gonna add a few extra bullets here since we shot two. To ignore that bot shooting at me. Oh, is that is that a person actually? Oh yeah, it is. Holy shit. Mm. Oh no, a bot is attacking me. Bro, this bot is gonna kill me. What? Bro, how many 30 sits can this guy take? No! No, 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 no! <laughs> Did I even hit that bot? <laughs> I guess not. Okay, well, I died to a bot with a TT with the Springfield. So we're doing super good. That player kill was also way too easy, but it was pretty funny. And my death was so dumb. That was such a horrible death. I wasted all my shots shooting at the player. And then I'm pretty sure I missed my shots shooting the bot as well. On to the Tika. The Tika T3 is a series of bolt action rifles that have been manufactured in Finland since 2003. It is used by the Canadian Rangers, French National Police, Indian Navy Marine Commandos, and it is currently being used by the Territorial Defense Forces in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine after Russia's invasion of the country in 2022. All right, everyone, here we are for our third round of our sniper slash bolt action rifle challenge. I upgraded our kit a little bit because the Tika has magazines, and so I needed to store the magazines on a vest, and of course we got meds, bandage, and a few extra mags in our sling bag. So let's go hunt our first player. Got the first two pretty quick right out the gate for both of those weapons, and it seems like we spawned farther away for this one, so I think we are gonna have to do a little hunting here. There's somebody leaving right now. I wonder if they saw me. Hopefully we can hide behind this tree. Two players. What? Epic fail. Buddy's gonna be repping this way. I'm gonna push up a little bit. His friend was definitely over here though. Is the why does the ACOG scope look like it makes things farther away? Am I stupid? There's his friend. Oh! I suck with this rifle. Oh, I'm no health. Yep, I'm dead. GG well played. M4. Oh, I got one! Yes! Let's go! 105 meters bleed damage! Let's go! We got him! Oh, that's so good. I thought this gun was pretty decent at making a long-range shot, but when I got up close to an enemy with an automatic rifle, it buckled completely. I'd just like to take a moment to thank our video sponsor, One Shot Energy. Their delicious energy chews are packed full of only the best plant-based ingredients. Caffeine chews, focus chews, and voice drops are all available at oneshotenergy.com with a 10% discount when you use code cryptic or the link in the description. Elevate your game with One Shot Energy. Now let's jump back into the video. The Dragunov SVD was developed in the Soviet Union and was designed to serve in a squad support role to provide precise long-range engagement capabilities to ordinary troops. It was accepted into service in July 1963, and once enough rifles had been produced, every infantry platoon of the Warsaw Pact included at least one SVD-equipped marksman. It was deployed in the Vietnam War, Soviet-Afghan War, Gulf War, the War in Afghanistan, the War in Iraq, and so many more. The SVD is chambered in the 
7.62 by 5.4 cartridge. All right, everyone, here we are for the Dragonov raid. I brought an Elbab vest with extra mags, another sling bag with some medicine, and some more extra mags. Uh, now let's go hunt this freaking player. We have gotten so freaking lucky to get our first player kill right off the bat in all of the first three raids, so I'm pretty nervous we're just gonna die now. Um, so I'm gonna play super cautious. I'm gonna wait and see if anybody comes up over this hill. Let me check my player kills. All right, we're at 11. All right, I don't see anybody coming up over the hill. They could flank back the long way. There's a guy. Damn, we didn't get him. All right, we gotta approach. Oh, we did, we got 12 players. Let's go, Dragonov killed down. Huge! I thought I saw him running, but he must have like bled out immediately after. Okay, okay. Let's get up to the front. We got our player kill. Let's go crazy. Oh. What the hell? Where was that from? Maybe they're trying to cross this way now. I'm just gonna bum rush this guy. Dragonov bum rush. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> that was awesome. There's another guy in this uh, cell over here. Let me put my mags on my chest real fast. We got 13, yeah, so there's still a guy in this cell over here. All right, three down, let's go. Three kills with the Dragonov, man, moving up to a uh, semi-automatic really helped me out. It really helped me secure some kills. There we go. Let's go. Got a freaking red dot sight. Huge. Woo. Let's go check this freaking GPU spawn. All right, do we have it? Nope, no GPU, sad face. No orange key card. Well, I guess now that we uh, got our player kills, let's try to survive this raid. Oh my god, I'm so low health. Why didn't I heal? Oh my god, I'm so forgetful. Alright, so I definitely thought I heard some gunshots over here, but now that I'm over here and watching, I don't see anything. Uh, no movement or anything. And I really just want to get uh, a survive raid. This will be my first survive, so that would be nice to live. So I'm going to play super cautious and just make my way to Exville very slowly uh, so we can get this freaking challenge done. No car battery. Rip. Stupid bot giving my position away. That's really bad for us. Okay, it's dead. And we have to watch for players over here now, because if there's anybody left on the map, they definitely heard those gunshots. Peep the roof. Oh my god, bots, bruh. Why bots? Alright, I guess we're just gonna go for it. I have I haven't seen any players running around roof or anything yet. But he's probably waiting for us to cross here at beach. Yep, there he is. Crap. Alright, we're gonna have to win this fight to get out of here. Ah, oh, good game. GG Bazaar. GG well played Bazaar. Ah, oh, in between us and our Xville. Got big white demon 
Diogenes the Great and Cryofield? Cryofeed? Oh, I don't know. GG well played to you gentlemen. We got three freaking kills. We were so close to the extract, but Bizarre shut us down. GG well played, sir. On to the next one. That was definitely the best round yet. Using the 762 by 54 cartridges with semi-automatic makes it so much easier to take down PMCs. And so, yeah, I'm happy with that raid overall, even though we didn't make it out. And I was pretty happy with the Dragonov. I thought it did well, even though I no-scoped most of the kills. Let's move on to the AWM. The Arctic Warfare Magnum, or AWM, is a bolt-action sniper rifle developed by Accuracy International. An early design known as the PM was adopted by the British Army in 1982. After years of development and upgrades, the AW version was introduced as an upgraded variant in the 90s. Special de-icing features allow this weapon to be used effectively at temperatures as low as negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. This rifle has had many variants and upgrades over the years and is still in service today, seeing use in the Iraq War, the war in Afghanistan, and the Syrian Civil War. The rifle is chambered in 338 Lapua Magnum. All right, everyone, here we are for the freaking AWM raid. I have upgraded our kit once again. We have the Vest B, the Helmet ATE, and a backpack with some meds and some extra mags. I also brought a Glock, but I'm not going to use it until after we get our first player kill to secure the challenge. And we got a crazy spawn for loot, so let's go check our GPU spawns real fast. No GPU down here. Let's get upstairs, check purple, check GPU. No purple, rip. Oh my god, GPU! Oh, we have to make it out of here alive now, please! Don't screw us now, me. Future me. Alright, we got this, we got this, we can secure this GPU. I, I think I heard some gunfire this way, so let's go check it out. There's two guys. I missed. They got one. There he is. King grenades. Uh. Oh, sh oh f I'm bleeding. Got him. Ooh, didn't get him with the pistol, but at least we got him. Or, I mean, didn't get him with the sniper. At least we got him. That was close. GG well played, sir. Ooh, got an SG. Nice. Can of gas. That was freaking close. Oh my god, I have to get out of here with this freaking GPU. Glad we brought that freaking Glock. Oh my god. That guy almost had us. That one's almost out of ammo. Oh god, no! Please tell me I got him there. Is that that's 17? We started off at 14? Yo, I just... Yo, I just insta-scoped that guy in the freaking- I just no-scoped that guy in the freaking tree. Let's go. Oh my god. That dude was sneaking. He's dead, right? Yeah. Holy crap, that was close. Oh my god, this freaking GPU. Whoops. I just shot myself in the arm checking my clock. That was dumb as fuck. What does this guy have? Water bottle. Nothing crazy in here. Doesn't seem like. I guess we'll go ahead and snack up. 
Wait for X fills to open. I'm so freaking low and I'm out of meds. I'm completely out of meds. I cannot believe I just shot myself with the Glock. That was stupid. Oh my god. There's a freaking airdrop. Bruh. There's a freaking airdrop. Are you kidding me? Where is it gonna go? Is it gonna go to radio? No way. Damn, bro, we gotta go for the airdrop now. Cannot go for the freaking airdrop. Oh my god, if I lose my freaking GPU after all that, look at my health. I have no health. I'm gonna try to just get eyes on the airdrop and watch it for a while. Oh my god, I'm out of stamina. There's nobody over here. Didn't bring any stamina either. There it is. There's the freaking airdrop. Alright, somebody else is probably camping it though, right? Yeah, there's a guy. Didn't see us somehow. Guy, guy coming from research. There's a guy that just came from research and he went down to ravine. I haven't seen him since. What the hell? Bro, I have no health. Is this guy not going for the airdrop? Did he miss the airdrop? He was 100% moving from... Labs to ravine. Might be camping just like us. There he is. <laughs> Dead, did I get him? <laughs> yes, we got him! Oh my god! Let's go, he was. He was freaking waiting. Let's go! Okay, so... If there are any other players camping, they 100% just heard us. If you guys are enjoying the freaking content, please consider hitting that like button or even subscribing. It helps me out so freaking much. And I really want to freaking see if we can hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I really think we can do it. I think that's a good goal to set. And I really freaking appreciate you guys watching all the videos and hitting that like button. It means the world to me. So thank you so much. Now let's get back to this freaking airdrop. Oh god. Oh no! I don't have any food. I didn't bring any food or water. Oh crap. Oh no. Alright, well, if somebody else is camping, they're camping. Let me go loot this guy. Maybe he had some food. Make sure he didn't have a buddy. Oh my god, look at this guy's armor rig! What the hell, bro? This guy was juiced! Bro! Oh my god, he's loaded up on food, let's go! That is crazy. M1 SAS. Uh... Big rig. Let's go, Alton Helmet, bro. I guess we'll switch over to this real fast. Oh my god, this guy was so freaking kitted, that's crazy. What a kill. Oh, did he have meds? Can I full heal? Yes! Oh my god, we're back, we are so back. Oh, what a freaking upgrade. Alright, since I've already gotten my freaking AWM kills, I'm gonna switch over to the SAS to secure the airdrop. Let's hope we're good now. Alright! Freaking airdrop! Oh my god. We got so... Oh, stoner 150. Two freaking skinny rigs, let's go. E-wallet, we're gonna have to see how much. One shots, freaking use code cryptic at checkout for 10% off. Orange key card, let's go do that. Another e-wallet? Oh, we're gonna hit orange right now. Look at us freaking go. All right, let's get both of these out of here. 
as well. How crazy would it be if there was still a guy camping out here? There's no way, right? Whoop. Dead bot. Bruh. Oh my god. All right, here we are. We made it to freaking orange key card. Oh, that's my GPU. Come on. Give us two more GPUs. You know you want to orange vault. The luck has been so crazy this raid. Give me double freaking GPUs. Oh, nothing. All right, that's okay. We got so much freaking loot this raid. It's crazy. Let's go. Tremendous. Tremendous. Oh my god, let's see all our freaking kills. Your buns, Jackson Pooks, Ian Bug, and Seeks. Torso AWM, let's go. Oh my god. Three freaking AWM kills, that's pretty great. And one Glock kill to the head, let's go. GG well played, all of these players. Just a quick recap, we got our kills, we survived, and we got airdrop loot, which was absurd. And we got a freaking GPU, and this armor rig, and M1 SAS, and the Alton that we stole off a player. So that was absolutely the best raid yet. It's the first one we freaking survived, and I cannot believe we got this freaking lucky. And here we are. Another freaking GPU to add to the collection. Our collection is going pretty well this way. That was by far the best raid yet, and it was helped so much by the fact that the AWM performed incredibly well. We got so many one-shot kills, it's ridiculous, and we made it out with absurd loot too, which is just the cherry on top. So now, let's finally jump in to our mystery weapon. The M110 Semi-Automatic Sniper System, or SAS, is an American semi-automatic sniper rifle that is usually chambered in 7 6 2 by 5 one NATO. Manufactured by Knight's Armament and adopted by the U.S. military in 2005, the SAS was deployed in the invasions of Iraq and Afghanistan, the Kurdish-Turkish conflict, and the Syrian civil war. It is primarily used by snipers, spotters, or designated marksmen in the U.S. military. And this is why I wanted to include this gun in the sniper vid, because it just makes sense here in my opinion. All right, everyone, here we are for the M1 SAS raid. I have upgraded our kit once again. We've got pretty good armor now, the skinny rig, uh, helmet ATE, M1 SAS. We have AP ammo. Let's go check this GPU spawn real fast, and then I'm going to try to get up on roof as fast as possible. Hopefully, we can secure a kill quickly. All right, let's go check this GPU. Oh my god! There is one! That's crazy. Alright, let's make sure nobody's approaching from the front. There sounds like somebody is. I'm gonna try to get up on roof quick. Shooting at somebody. It's gunshots. Somebody. Got one. There's a player kill. Two. Thought there was a third, but I don't hear him now. God, where'd the third one go?
All right, I don't think anybody else is showing up. I haven't heard shots on the map in forever, so let's go ahead and get to our freaking exfil. Looks like we have Bloody Beach. Oh my god, we freaking made it with the M1 SAS. What a good raid. I think we got two kills and a freaking GPU. That was so good. We completed our challenge and we're getting another survive. Thank goodness. Ghost 34 Tony, Dumble, Dumble Harry. GG, well played. So I don't feel like the SAS got to show its full potential in that raid. I only saw those two players in labs. I never saw anybody else the rest of the raid. So that was unfortunate, but we did secure a kill for the challenge and we got another one too and a GPU. So that was, that was pretty all right. So let's move on to the final weapon of the video. The Barrett M82 is a semi-automatic anti-material rifle developed by the American company Barrett Firearms Manufacturing. It was officially adopted as a long-range sniper rifle by the U.S. Army in 2002 and is effective for attacking unarmored or lightly armored vehicles. They can also be used against stationary enemy aircraft, missile launchers, radar equipment, and similar targets. So let's see how this rifle with rounds large enough to stop vehicles does against humans. And of course, the Barrett is chambered in 50 BMG. All right, everyone, here we are for the final raid. This is for all the freaking marbles. This is the big one. I have a big rig, a Alton with a face shield. I even brought a Ragnar for the memes. We got an extra USP in case things go south. Now let's go try and line up our first player kill with the Barrett and hopefully complete this sniper challenge all together. That would be wonderful. Not lie, I'm a little bit nervous on this last one. Oh, there's a guy all the way over there. We're at five. I don't think I got that player. I gotta drink one of our six pack here. We're out of stamina. What the hell? This gunshot sounded super close. Player of Did I get him? I think so. Nope. There he is. Why am I so bad with the Barret? Don't understand. No. Oh, please tell me I got him there. Yes! We freaking did it! We completed the sniper challenge! Oh my god, I almost whiffed it on the freaking Barret, but we made it! I'm so freaking happy. Oh my god. That guy just peaked again after I missed all my freaking shots. I was a hundred percent playing so bad right there because I was so nervous. I didn't want to ruin the challenge. Everything came down to this and our boy peaked again. Thank you, my man. Thank you for peaking again. I really needed it. Oh, bro. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's great. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys still are here. Oh. <laughs> I love Skibbity69. GG, well played. I genuinely can't think of a better way to end the freaking video. Congratulations on your Barrett, your Ragnar, your Tier 5, your Alton. I love Skibbity69. What a G. Who'd we kill? X Melion next. GG, well played. I'm just happy we completed the freaking challenge. 140 meters. Let's freaking go. Oh my god. I'm so happy we completed the challenge. We are done. So I was super nervous on the last raid and I was missing all of my freaking shots, but somehow we still got our kill and the most hilarious thing that could possibly happen happened. We got killed by a tree camper using a grenade whose name was I Love Skibbity 69. If that does not encapsulate this game, I don't know what does.
If you guys did make it this far into the video, I cannot thank you enough. It really means the world to me. I've been working really hard on this video for like two or three weeks now. It's been in the background, so that's why content has slowed down a little bit recently, but I think it was all worth it because I love how this video turned out and I hope you guys do too. I just wanna give a massive shout out to one of our channel members, Pete, for supplying me with the Barretts for this video. I really freaking appreciate it. Thank you so much because I only got to level four Spectre before I made this video. Still working on level five for this wipe. And as always, I want to give a massive shout out to our legendary channel members, Mr. Python, Pete, J. Frizay. You are all absolutely legendary. And everybody else who's watching right now, you're all legendary in my heart as well. Remember to take care of yourself and your loved ones always because you're all worth it. And I hope to see each and every one of you in the next video. Bye.